The obvious inspiration for In Darkness was the earthquake itself, which happened in January 2010. And I guess, like most of the world, I was just absolutely transfixed and horrified by it and thought how appallingly ironic it was that this had happened to one of the poorest and most unfortunate countries in the world anyway. And so quite soon after the earthquake happened, I was watching TV and watching the news and there was a boy who was being dug out from the rubble after two or three days, I think. And I'd, it just got me thinking about what it would actually be like if that was you and you were trapped in the darkness and you couldn't see your own hands and you didn't know where you were and you didn't know what had happened. Presumably you wouldn't even know that an earthquake had occurred. You might assume that it had, but you'd just be there in the darkness. You wouldn't know if you were going to survive or not. I think um, on the face of it, In Darkness is in many ways a very sad book. It's the story of Toussaint Louverture is, is deeply sad um, from start to finish, really, despite his great victories. It's obviously sad for Shorty that he's trapped in this place and that various really terrible things have happened to him through the course of his life. But, um, and I'm conscious of not wanting to give too much away, I think basically what I intended the book to be about was hope. I think teenagers around the world experience the same issues no matter where they live. To some extent, I think it's one of those sort of yes and no things. I think that it's also a question of scale. I think there are obvious differences between a teenager in Port-au-Prince in Haiti and a teenager in London or in New York, uh, for the most part anyway, because something awful happened there and lots and lots and lots, you know, hundreds of thousands of people died. Hundreds of thousands of people are still living in makeshift camps with no access to water, no access to food. Um, so in terms of sort of scale and in terms of um, the physical manifestations of misery, I think it can be extremely different. What I would say, though, is that I think the experiences that underlie that are universal. You know, whether your mother was killed by falling masonry when an earthquake happened or whether she was hit by a car crossing the street in Swindon or in, or in New Jersey or wherever you happen to live, you're going to feel the same. And I think teenagers, no matter where they live and no matter what happens to them, they're going to feel the same when they fall in love, they're going to feel the same when they're bereaved. These experiences are completely universal. So really, it's a, it's a question of the, the externalities that differ, I think.